Yolan Chu and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy and welcome to another officer video but one of the new arc so not in our standard A to Z series. But before I talk about our rare officer this time I just want to say if you're not a subscriber of my channel yet but do like my videos then please do subscribe to my channel and when you do also click this little bell and all notifications so you will be notified when another video comes out. But now let's have a look at Strange New Worlds Pelia. She is class engineering, I mean she is chief engineer aboard the Enterprise in Strange New Worlds and that's why she also is in the group Strange New Worlds but she needs engineering badges later to be upgraded and she can give synergy to captains from Strange New Worlds for example James Kirk or Christopher Pike when she's on the bridge with them. So you already have heard that she does not have a captain maneuver herself. And she's from the Faction Federation, which means you need Federation Faction credits to upgrade her later. And if you haven't seen Strange New Worlds yet, there is uh, an info text about Pelia here, but I've seen Strange New Worlds and I'm really looking forward to third season. And uh, I do know her and I really, she, she is quite weird. But um, she does not have a captain maneuver, as I said, but she does have an officer ability and a below deck ability. And uh, the names of that definitely fit with her character in the series. Her officer ability is brain melting secrets. And uh, that means in this case that Pelia reduces isolated damage received from non armada hostiles by 2%. And in the end, it will be 20% at rank 5. First of all, I really like that they finally write it here. Um, with some, in some cases, uh, it's it's in one language version. It's there in the other language. Not so f funny, but I'm glad they they do it now so that we know um, what effect that will have later. And uh, reducing isolated damage you you get from from non armada hostiles is uh, definitely nice against uh, the Gorn, for example. And her below deck ability, perpetually bored. Yeah, which she is. Um, she increases isolated defense by 10% in general, and that will be 100% at rank 5. So uh, with that ability, she also is a good choice uh, below deck aboard your ships, for example, um, in PvP as well, when you are in incursions and in territory takeovers and so on, to uh, raise your isolated defense because everybody now has isolated damage in, in some way and so um, that will be definitely a good help here. As a rare officer she definitely will have two um, abilities for away teams as well because I don't have her yet. It's day one of, of the new arc so I can't have her yet. Um, I cannot show you that but we all know that she will have that but I don't think that I will send her to away teams because especially because of her below deck ability she will definitely be aboard one of my ships as soon as I have her. We will see how long that takes because the last rare officers Hoshi Sato, um, Nurse Chapel, I didn't get them in the during the arc because there were not enough events to, to do that. Um, with Hoshi and Chapel, that's now uh, on the way to be fixed. I got Hoshi yesterday already finished because of the new event uh, store we have. And I will definitely um, very soon get Nurse Chapel as well. But what happens to Pelia, we will see. But there's, uh, besides the fact that she is uh, in one of the missions, there were a few um, shards of her and... Uh, in the welcome gift for this arc there were some. She's also in um, the battle pass with a nurse chapel parts by the way. Um, so I don't need to get too many from the event. I don't know why nurse chapel is down there. But she's in the free and in the elite uh, path of the battle pass. But there's another chance of uh, getting her now when you are level 40 plus and have the Gorn um, eviscerator because as soon as you have the eviscerator you will find in your isometer refinery the uh, strange new worlds officers exchange as well and here for exchanging the apex recruit tokens you have a chance to get pelia charts 
uh, one, two, or three um, with one pull. Um, if you're lucky, this is the standard game of fortune again. And um, but this is at least something nice where you know for for level forty plus um, players um, that you that you know that you can get um, the charts for the current officers right from the start through some work you do on on your grinding um, with hostiles etc. And so um, I I do like this one. I will see how helpful this will be in the end because the tokens are not that easy to get and you have to collect and, and wait you need patience for this one again and then we will see um, how many Pelias I can get out of this to have her maybe during this uh, this arc this month but um, no guarantees but I always make the videos um, when they are introduced outside my A to Z series so to give you a little overview and uh, that's where we are when Pelia was published. If you want to say something about Pelia as soon as you have her and how you're using her, please write it in the comments. And if you have questions in general or video requests, you know that I regularly read your comments. And if you want to see another video right now, the next one is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.